Suppy guys, Shane or SRK here. How you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, today we're back with shopping with vinyl. It's been a couple weeks since I did the last episode. The last episode will be down in the description. We found a lot of no sleep records and just a bunch of like hot topic presses and stuff like that. So you can go check that out down below. This time I went to two very uh, underrated uh, hole in the wall record stores one being record utopia and the other one being purple dog records I usually don't go to these record stores just because they don't really have anything that I'm looking for ever So there's no point to really go there So I just go there maybe like once every month or so that way to check them out and see what they got for me uh, So I'm gonna show that footage right now, and I didn't make a clear-cut intro in the time I recorded this So sorry about that. Uh, we'll have pickups at the end. and We'll see you then <laughs> Done. I came what I came here for. I got what I came here for. High grammar, right? Feels bad, man. It's still here. <laughs> they don't change much. Turn on the music. Please. Turn down the music. Please. Thanks. I appreciate it. So that was Record Utopia. Obviously one of the most interesting record stores ever. It doesn't have that great of stuff sometimes, but I actually found one thing when I uh, was walking out because I looked at everything and just didn't pass it up. That's why it's always good to look at everything because then you'll find something. Uh, I didn't show it in the video, but uh, I'll just show it right here. I found Local Natives Hummingbird on uh, just a regular black vinyl. Uh, if you don't, aren't familiar with that band, they were actually on the Life is Strange soundtrack. And uh, Mount Washington is on there. That's one of my favorite songs, so had to scoop. Next place we're going is a place <laughs> called Purple Dog Records this hole in the wall record store out here uh, I may look like really white right now I'm sorry but uh, I got my shake so I'm good to go let's check it out Not a goddamn thing in there. What happened? Hope you guys enjoyed the little footage I had for you. Sorry it wasn't much, but we'll get right into the pickups. Uh, what I'm going to show you first is some things that I got before the video. So I'm just trying to catch up with what I have. That way I can show you guys. So uh, also, if you guys don't know, I collect cassette tapes as well. Uh, I just like that format as well as vinyl. So I'll show you guys the cassette tapes first. First one I got was a uh, Living Color Times Up on cassette. If you want to focus, that'd be great. 
yeah living color time's up it's one of my favorites uh my dad got me into living color when i was young so that's why i kind of like it and i like the album artwork the album artwork is is pretty nice for the band so the next two are really good ones that i found uh one being bad religion against the grain most people would know this if you listen to bad religion it's one of their uh, more well-known records on Epitaph back in the day, but a uh, very good find. It's in very good condition too, and you know I can't complain with this find. It was only ten bucks. I mean it goes for about eleven or so online, twelve-ish. So it was a good find. The one that I'm really like excited about is Quicksand Manic Compression. Uh, this is a very well-known record uh, around the scene, and it's in very good condition. I got it honestly. A, at a great price for $4.99. So, you know, you can't really complain with uh, what people are giving you and what they're giving up to the these stores. So, hey, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Let's get into the records now, because this is shopping for vinyl, not shopping for cassette tapes. Oh well. Uh, first one I got is Xerxes, Our Home is a Deathbed. They're a hardcore band from uh, Kentucky, I believe. And this is their first record, if I'm not mistaken or one of their first. Uh, it came before Collision Blonde, which is uh, the one that's their current one, I think. So this one's on a nice uh, brown. It's kind of like a really ugly color. It looks like your grandma's uh, furniture table. You know, that sort of brown color. Pretty cool, honestly. Only got it for $5, which is pretty good, uh, considering this came out you know a while back I don't know if they knew what they were selling but so I'm glad to have this one because I've never listened to it before so can't complain with that one you guys like that slide that was neat oh let me play it back for you can't complain with that the next one I got is champion time slips away this is a, a straight edge hardcore band and it's honestly one of my favorite straight edge bands uh, basically, they uh, influence a lot of the bands that came out later in the kind of like the straight edge era. So, but this one is a nice, pretty blue color, and this is a really important band to like being straight edge and stuff like that. So, that's why I got it because I've listened to this before. I found the CD at a Goodwill not too long ago, and I really enjoyed the CD. So, why not get it on vinyl? Got it for what? around $12 I think so that wasn't a bad price at all this one I already showed in the video I think I had some footage of it before but uh, local natives hummingbird most of you guys might know this from the life is strange soundtrack if you've ever heard of it uh, Mount Washington is one of the songs on that soundtrack uh, they're an indie band and honestly they're they're a pretty good band I enjoy it thoroughly it's got a nice little gay fold for you boom and it's just on black, so it's nothing too too fancy, too crazy. I like the artwork on this record, and you know, nice black vinyl. So honestly, it was just a great pickup because I like listening to this, like when I have spare time. Uh, obviously, I can't listen to the vinyl because I don't know if you guys can see that, but I don't have a record player right there. I'm working on getting a better one. So yeah, I guess I gotta listen to it on Spotify for now, which kind of sucks, but. Whatever, got that for fifteen dollars, so not too bad. Cause I was, I can never find the CD or the vinyl for it. It was, and I don't want to order it, cause that's kind of dumb. And last but not least, we have a very uh, interesting find because never seen this before. So uh, it's Terrors Live by the Code with an alternate cover. It's a collab between Black Scale and Reaper Records, which. I've never seen it before. It comes with a giant book about what it is to be terror and like what is hardcore and stuff like that. Basically, it's just a very good record, uh, you know, about living by the code. There's this code, you know, you don't, you know, cross the code, respect, you know, stuff like that. Basically, they're just all about a respect, you know, respect type of band, which is really cool because. Uh, I didn't really like Terra until I listened to this and then I went back to their older stuff and I really liked their older stuff. It just took me a while to get into this band. But this one's actually a really cool color as well. It's got the white and the black with the splatter on the one side. So I'll bring that up closer to you. 
so that's pretty cool and this one is a, a one and only pressing out of a thousand so it was a pretty good find for only like $14 um, it's not available anymore that I've seen other than in uh, Europe which you got to pay a little bit more to get it which that's probably shouldn't do that anyway but whatever thank you guys for watching I hope you guys did enjoy the video there's gonna be more videos like this of course on the way coming uh, I'm scoping out new spots for record stores thanks to uh, another individual I don't remember his name off the top of my head but uh, he goes around and interviews these uh, record stores in the local Chicago area so he uh, he commented on my one of my previous videos that did uh, pretty well I think it was the first one so uh, I'll link his channel down below if you want to watch these interviews if you're into music like me then you would really understand uh, you know how important these uh, very local unknown record stores are to the community and stuff like that so thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time peace oh wait ah, uh, 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 don't take my minions uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I need to smell that. Oh, yeah, I missed. Oh, uh, she should. Uh, uh.